Well, welcome, you guys. Go ahead and find a nice, comfortable seated position. Let your spine be nice and long. Close your eyes. Start to check in with your breath. Notice what's happening in the nervous system. Notice the spots in the body that first start to grab your attention and see if you can feel your breath purposefully going into those spots. I was meditating the other day and this idea came to me that if our life is on a certain path and we have a certain trajectory, the way that you keep someone on a path is either prodding them or by reward. And then I was thinking about how that can apply so well to our practice. As you're sitting and breathing, notice what is keeping you here. Trying to find this stillness, trying to find a deeper breath. Are you pushing yourself to find the stillness, trying to suppress the pain of what's happening in your body. It's very interesting to me a lot of times how we are a very sedentary society, yet sitting still is usually an uncomfortable thing. A, a shoulder starts to hurt, low back, a hip. So as you start to elongate your inhales, letting your exhales get even longer, notice if you can find the pleasure in taking a really deep breath and how that feels when you take a conscious long breath. And instead of using the energy for the suppression of pain, use your energy for the reward and the pleasure of a really nice, deep, long breath. And as we move through our practice today, I'm going to continue to encourage you in each pose to not keep yourself on the path through which I am guiding you by suppressing and pushing through pain. Because yoga is challenging. It is hard to put our body into these different positions. But instead, I want to encourage you to really focus on the pleasure of finding a really deep breath in these challenging poses. Take a deep inhale in through the nose for three, two, one. Hold the breath at the top. Open the mouth, let it out. Three, two, one. Deep inhale in through the nose for three, two, one. Hold the breath at the top. Open the mouth, let it out. Three, two, one. One more time. Huge inhale in. Hold the breath. Open the mouth, let it out. Now transfer the breath just to the nose. Take an inhale in. Reach to the crown of the head a little longer. Slowly exhale out the nose. Keep that length, but relax the shoulders, knees, and hips. Take a deep inhale in. Let your belly and diaphragm fill up. Exhale out. Push the belly back toward your spine. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Bring the palms together, exhale them down in between the eyes. May your practice cultivate enlightened thoughts. Inhale, exhale the hands in front of the mouth. May your practice cultivate enlightened speech. Inhale, exhale the hands in front of the heart. May all of your practices cultivate an enlightened heart. Reach down, grab your shins, change the crossing of your legs if you would like. Take an inhale in. Spill the belly out, shine the heart up, gaze up, roll the shoulders back. 
Exhale, in the center of the back, far back behind you, pull against your shins, chin down towards your chest. Inhale, rolling all the way forward. Exhale, rolling all the way back. Keep these long inhales and long exhales going. Move with the pace of your breath. See if you can lightly close off the back of your throat for ujjayi breath. Just creates a little bit of a tighter space for your air to move through. It's like when you pinch a hose and it creates a little extra pressure for the water. Especially as you inhale, feel like that little extra bit of pressure is sending a little extra bit of oxygen to every part of your body. And maybe you're working through some tightness or some stiffness through the spine, through the back. And instead of focusing on those sensations of working through hurt or stiffness, focus on the sensation of the nice, deep, pleasurable, long breath. On your next exhale, pick a direction and start to roll the body. Exhale all the way back. Inhale all the way forward. When you head to the right, push down on the left knee. When you head to the left, push down on the right. Start to get the hips involved. See what happens when the head is involved. See what happens when the shoulders are involved. Play with the sizes of the circles, letting them be huge. What happens when they get a little smaller, keeping that connection to the breath. Still finding those same long inhales and long exhales. Even though the body is moving, the nervous system is starting to become more active. See if you can still keep the focus on the breath and just the joy of taking a conscious breath. With your breath, as you're ready, start to take it in the opposite direction. Still inhaling all the way forward. Exhaling all the way back. Warming up the spine, warming up the breath. There's no real wrong way to do this. This is just a time of exploration, of noticing what's happening in the nervous system, what's happening in the body, and especially in the spine. Every part of our nervous system connects through the spine and up into our brain. So we want a nice, healthy spine. In the tradition of yoga, the belief is that you are only as young as your spine is flexible. And that's a nice way of looking at it, noticing all the little connections in between each vertebra. And then slowly, in your own time, start to let the movements get a little smaller, and a little smaller, until you find your way back the stillness, finding length in the spine, finding that space in between each vertebra, and then relaxing the shoulders, the knees, the hips, taking those same deep breaths. And then notice as you sit, if it feels just a little different, even after that small amount of time of focusing on our breath, focusing on our nervous system, and focusing on the joy of a long inhale and a long exhale. Take one more inhale in. Exhale, place your hands out in front of you. Slowly find your way into downward facing dog. Really spreading your fingers underneath your shoulders. Sink your heart toward your toes. Turn your triceps in toward each other. You can bend one knee and then the other if you would like. 
Notice if that second toe is lined up with your ankle, knee, and hip on each side. Notice if your low ribs are collapsing towards your knees. See if you can pull them in and up. And then on an inhale, rolling forward to plank, really pressing down with the thumb and index finger. Let the wrists be right underneath your shoulders. Engage your core. Get the center of the back a little higher. Take an inhale in. Exhale down to Chaturanga. Shoulders way out. Elbows in. Exhale all the way down to the earth. Untuck the toes. Engage the low back. Press down with the tops of the feet. Start to lift the heart. Reach the crown of the head long. So don't think so much about gazing up and using your neck. But just think about using the low back muscles. Start to roll the shoulders back. See if you can take some of the weight out of your hands. See if you can keep pressing down with the tops of your feet. And still find the same long inhales and long exhales. One more inhale in. And as you exhale, tuck your toes. Begin to release the chin down toward the earth. And then on an inhale, come up. And press back, downward facing dog, as you exhale. Inhale, coming up to the balls of the feet. Turn the gaze forward. Walk to the front of the mat. Exhale, release down, forward fold. Let your feet be hip distance apart. So let the second toe stay lined up with your ankle all the way up to your knee, all the way up to your hip. And shake the head gently, yes and no. Really release all of that weight. You can clasp opposite elbows if you would like, or just keep the hands relaxed down to the earth. Put a little bend in the knees that disengages your hamstrings so that you have a little more space through your spine so that you can really release the head, the torso. Maybe even bending the knees enough that you can place your chest down on your thighs to just really start to feel the weight of the head, it's 10% of our body weight, the space in between each and every one of your vertebra, and then see if you can still find those same long inhale in for three, two, one, exhale out, three, two, one. Continue this long, even breath, really trying to find that space in between each vertebra. And then allow yourself to slowly straighten your legs as much as you can. Not pushing yourself to the point of breathing through the pain of opening up through the hamstrings, but just to that point where you can still find the joy and pleasure in a long breath. Oftentimes, especially in our current society, we think that we have to push ourselves really, really hard in order to find any sort of improvement. But all improvement comes with time. So give yourself that time now to find the joy and right where you are in a deeper breath. And bring your hands to your shins. Inhale, coming halfway up. Keep that length in the spine. Take a few deep breaths. Now notice if your low ribs are sticking out. Try to pull your low ribs in. Engage your core. Still letting the center of the back be high. Think about lengthening through the crown of the head. Transferring the weight towards your heels. Not gripping the toes. Try to relax the shoulders down and back. Same deep breaths. Take one more inhale in. Exhale, release a little deeper. Pull against the backs of the ankles. Transfer the weight toward the balls of the feet. Inhale, coming halfway up. Exhale, release a little deeper. Pull against the backs of the ankles. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release a little deeper. This time as you inhale, bend really deep into the knees. 
and reach the fingers up, Utkatasana. Exhale, lead with the heart, straighten the legs all the way down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release a little deeper. Inhale, bend into the knees, reach the fingers up, transfer the weight towards your heels, engage your core, relax your shoulders, Utkatasana. Exhale, lead with the heart, straighten the legs. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, releasing down. Inhale, bend into the knees, reach the fingers up. Try to not grip your toes. Try to keep all the work in your legs, not your low back. And exhale, lead with the heart. Heel toe your feet out to the edges of your mat. Put a nice deep bend in your knees. Let your heart sink down in between your knees. Let your head release. And then interlace the hands behind the back. Try to keep your palms together as you send your pinkies down toward the earth. Start to open up through the shoulders. Really relax the head. Same deep breaths. Keep the weight evenly distributed through your feet. So see if you can still lift your toes and relax them back down. Then listening to your body, listening to your breath. Slowly straighten the legs as much as you can. Keeping a little bend. Really trying to get those pinkies to come down toward the earth, really relaxing the head. Take a deep inhale in for three, two, one. Long exhale out, three, two, one. Deep inhale in. Long exhale out. I'm not worrying about Oh, am I doing it right? Am I trying hard enough? Try as hard as you would like. But continue to find the joy and pleasure in your breath. Not focusing on the unfamiliar, the discomfort, the tightness in the body. But focus instead on the joy of the breath. And gently release the hands down. Keep the left fingertips down, right in front of your eyes. Then reach the right fingertips up. You can gaze up toward that right thumb if you would like. You can put a little bend in that left knee if you need to. Feel long through the spine. Find those same deep breaths. And then placing the right fingertips down, put a little bend in that right knee, reach the left fingertips up, same deep breaths. Focus on the breath, not so much what's happening in your body, but can, so can you still find the same long inhale, long exhale? And gently release that left hand down. Clasp opposite elbows. Feel nice and heavy. Deep breaths. Release the hands down. Heel toe your feet back. Bring them all the way together. Press your big toes together, your heels, your ankles. And then start to put a nice deep bend into your knees. Press your knees together. Keep the fingertips down on the earth. Get the heart just a little higher. And then on an inhale, come up, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take the right elbow on the outside of the left thigh. A little more of a balancing posture than when we had our feet at hip distance apart. See if you can really feel the length in the spine. Bend the knees a little more. Get the heart a little closer to your hands. 
Really think about finding that space in between your shoulder blades, the length up through the spine, like you're trying to reach the crown of your head all the way to the front of the room. Notice if your knees are still in alignment. Notice if all of the weight has transferred to one foot or the other. See if you can find a nice, even balance. Same deep breath. Inhale, coming back, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center, left elbow, right thigh. Same deep breaths. I know those thighs are starting to feel it. See if you can just breathe a little bit deeper. Instead of focusing on the work that's happening in the body, see if you can focus on the joy of the breath. As your body starts to tell you that it's tired, that it would like to come down, see if you can just find a longer inhale, a longer exhale. Inhale, coming all the way back, chair pose. Exhale, lead with the heart, heading all the way down. You'll toe your feet back, hip distance apart and release down. Place the hands down, bend into the knees, send that left foot all the way back, come into a nice easy lunge on that left side. Make a little pillow with the left side of the mat, place the left knee down, untuck the toes. Start to bend into the left knee, reach back with the left hand, and grab that ankle. Start to send the hips forward, try to release through that thigh on the left side after all that work in chair pose. See if you can roll onto the base of your thigh muscle so that you're actually not on your knee on that left side. Same deep breaths. And gently release that left side. Press down with the top of the left foot. Notice if the right second toe is lined up with the ankle, knee, and hip. So you might need to take your right foot a little farther to the right side. Pushing down with the top of that left foot, trying to send the left hip forward. Pull the right hip back. Start to come up to your fingertips. Engage the core, relax the shoulders. Take an inhale in. Exhale, pull back on the right heels. Start to send the hips back. Ardha Hanumanasana, crown of the head down, straightening that leg. Inhale, rolling all the way forward. Keep that engagement through that right heel so that the right hamstring stays engaged the whole time. And then exhale, heading all the way back. Inhale, heading all the way forward. And exhale, heading all the way back. Keep that pressing down with the top of the left foot. Keep the right heel engaged. Inhale, heading forward. And exhale, heading back. Inhale, heading forward one more time. Be sure that the right knee is on top of the right ankle, not out over the right toes. So keep pulling back on the right hip, forward with the left. Start to take the weight out of the fingertips. Bring the hands to your hips. Notice if your belly is really spilling out here and you have an arch in your back. If so, start to straighten that right leg a little bit. Really engage the core, feel the pelvis tucking forward, pull back on the right heel, relax the shoulders, keep that right hamstring engaged. Deep breaths. Now see if you can have as much weight in your right foot as you have in your left foot and shin at the moment. Try to take the weight out of the left knee. And then reach the fingertips up.
Now you can start to bend a little deeper into that right knee. Notice if the hips try to open to the side, that means you've gone too far. Keep the hips parallel to the front of the mat. Keep the core engaged. Same deep breath. Maybe start to let a nice little arch happen. Try to focus the arch in your upper back so you're not collapsing into the lower back. You can interlace the fingers if you would like, except for the index finger. Or you can stay right here, taking a few deep breaths. You can even bring those hands to your hips. Remember that everything I say is only a suggestion. You can stop anywhere along the way. And slowly find your way back down, both hands to the inside of that right foot. We'll stay on our fingertips for a moment, really pressing the hips forward. And then start to relax the right knee slightly out to the right side, letting the right sole of the foot come up off the earth. Same deep breaths. I know that right hip is feeling a little strange. There's a lot of heat happening in there, a lot of sensation, a lot of discomfort. Instead of focusing on that, focus on a nice deep breath. In the inhale in. Log exhale out. See if you can focus so much on the joy of the breath that you can't even feel your hip anymore. And then tuck the left toes. Gently, carefully send that right foot back. Come into plank. Take an inhale in. Exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale up for Cobra. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale coming forward to plank. Exhale, place the knees down, untuck the toes. Knees hip distance apart, slightly behind your hips. Hands right underneath the shoulders. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale in reverse. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale and reverse. Keep pressing down with the fingers and toes. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, reverse. Inhale in one more time. Exhale and release. Allow the spine to come back to neutral. Start to reach that right heel straight back behind you. So it's going to feel a little bit strange through that hamstring and that hip. We just stretched out all of these muscles, and now we're asking the body to start to activate them. So notice if that right hip tries to stack on top of the left. Pull it back down so the toes are pointing right down at the earth. Notice if all of your weight is going back to that left knee and see if you can Evenly distribute your weight by keeping your right shoulder over the right wrist. And then maybe reach those left fingertips out. Engage the core. Trying to get the center of the back high. Spread the fingers. Reach the left fingertips long. Reach all the way through that right heel. On an inhale, get everything a little higher. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, reach. This time as you exhale, place the right knee down. Turn the left fingertips in. Inhale, the right fingertips high. Exhale, reach that right arm all the way through. Notice if your hips are swaying to one side or the other. 
Use that left hand to open that left shoulder. Try to get the crown of the head long, so try to get that right shoulder down away from the right ear. Same deep breaths. And gently unwind, coming back through center. Tuck the toes, take an inhale in and plank. Exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale through and up, your back bend of choice. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, coming up to the balls of the feet, turn the gaze forward, walk to the front of the mat. Feet hip distance apart, release down, forward fold. And just take a few deep breaths, really letting the torso release. Let the head be heavy. Find that even distribution of the weight through your feet. Relax your shoulders. Relax the space in between each vertebra. Try to not grip with your toes. Still finding that inhale in for three, two, one. Exhale out, three, two, one. And placing the hands down, step back with the right foot. All the way into that lunge on the left side. Take a moment to notice if the left knee is right over the left ankle. It's out over the toes, try to pull it back. Maybe walking the left foot just a little farther to the left side, so that way you keep that alignment of the second toe, ankle, knee, and hip. Make a little pillow with the right side. Place the right knee down, untuck the toes. Bend into the right knee, reach back with the right hand, pull that heel in, sink the hips forward, roll up onto the base of the right thigh so that you're not on the right knee. Take a few deep breaths, really trying to sink the hips forward, pulling the right hip toward the front of the mat. And then gently release that right side, pushing down with the top of that right foot. Just be sure that left knee is still over your ankle. Start to come up to your fingertips, fold back on the left heel. And then take an inhale in. Exhale, send the left hip all the way back. Flex those left toes, crown of the head down. Inhale, rolling all the way forward. Keep pressing down with the top of the right foot. Keep pulling back with that left heel. You can even use the right hand to notice if that left hamstring stays engaged. Exhaling all the way back. Inhaling all the way forward. Exhaling all the way back. Getting into that hamstring and hip. Inhale all the way forward. And then as you head back, as you exhale, see if you can feel that connection all the way up to your low back, really trying to send this, the center of your left hip as far back behind you as you can. And then inhale, pulling it all forward, engaging that hamstring, getting the heart high. Not sinking into the hip, but keeping it engaged, pulling forward. Exhale, heading all the way back. Inhale all the way forward. And then this time, start to take some of the weight out of the hands. 
Be sure you still have that same alignment, second toe, ankle, knee, hip. Bring your hands to your hips. Notice if you have that arch in the spine, start to pull the hips back so you can align them with the front of the mat, engage the core, relax the shoulders, pushing down with the top of that right foot, pulling back with that left heel. Reaching the crown of the head long, finding those same deep breaths, maybe closing the eyes. And then maybe staying right here and breathing. Or reaching the fingertips up. Maybe starting to sink the hips forward, finding that little natural arch in the spine. Interlace the fingers if you would like. Keep the hips parallel to the front of the mat. Same deep breaths. Focusing on the joy of a long inhale and a long exhale. Take one more inhale in. Exhale both hands down to the inside of that left foot. Pulling the hips forward, pressing down with the top of that right foot. And gently let that left knee fall out to the left side. Same deep breaths. Notice where your thoughts are. Notice where your focus is. Can you focus on the deep breath? Focus on the joy of inviting in a little extra oxygen. And on each exhale, releasing anything that no longer serves you, whether it's a thought, tightness in the body. And tuck the right toes. Bring your hands back. Gently send that left foot all the way back. Take an inhale in and plank. Exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale through and up. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Really sink into those hips. Then inhale forward to plank. Exhale, release the knees down. Untuck the toes. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, reverse. Inhale in. Exhale, release. Take a few cat and cows at the pace of your breath. Continue pressing down with the tips of your fingers, the tips of your toes, keeping it active. Focusing on your breath. Allow the spine to come back to neutral. Start to reach that left heel straight back. Be sure it's right at hip height. Keep those toes flexed, pointing down to the earth. Notice if all of your weight just transferred to that right knee. Start to send your left shoulder back over your left wrist. Press down, especially with your thumb and index finger. Trying to pull your elbows toward the back of your mat so that they're not opening out to the sides. And then gently start to reach that right hand out, same deep breaths, lengthen through that left heel, lengthen through the right fingertips, gaze down at the earth, long through the spine, inhale, get everything a little higher, exhale, elbow to knee, inhale, reach out and up, exhale, pull it in, inhale, reach. Exhale, release, turn the right fingertips in. Inhale, the left fingers up. 
Exhale, reach them through. Take a few deep, long, well-deserved breaths. Finding the length in the spine as well as the twist. Focus on that deep breath. And gently unwind. Head through a vinyasa if you would like. Or just let your knees come out to the sides of your mat, big toes together. Send the hips back and come into child's pose. Take a few deep, deep breaths. Really just letting your body release. Maybe making little circles on your mat with your forehead. Maybe gently swaying the hips from side to side. Just focusing on that long inhale and long exhale. Notice where your thoughts are. Notice where the focus is. Notice your heart rate. See if you can let it decrease. And slowly come up to seated on your heels. You can bring your knees back to hip distance apart. Notice if your big toes are together. See if you can align your second toe back with your heels. Start to really press down with each of your toes. Take some of the weight out of the knees. And start to feel this through your shins and your ankles. Engage your core. Sit up a little taller. Send a little more of your weight back toward those toes. And take it. Inhale. Reach the arms out. Exhale, right arm on top. Give yourself a hug. See if you can reach back for your shoulder blades. If you can, use your fingertips. Grab onto your shoulder blades. Start to pull your shoulder blades away from each other. If you can't quite grab your shoulder blades, just feel that expansion of your shoulder blades moving away from your spine. Then on an inhale, get your elbows, the crown of the head a little higher. Exhale, relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale a little higher. Exhale, release. Inhale up. And exhale, release completely. Inhale the arms out. Left arm on top. Still transferring the weight back towards your toes, trying to take the weight out of your knees, engaging your core. Inhale, get the elbows higher. Shoulder blades away from each other. Exhale, relax the shoulders down. Inhale, a little higher. Exhale, release. Inhale one more time. Exhale, let it go. Notice if your weight is still pressing down through your toes, your ankles and shins should be engaged. And then take the weight forward. Release your toes and tuck. Be sure each toe is involved, especially that pinky toe. Start to send your knees forward so that your toes and the bottoms of your feet start to open up. Sit up tall. Grab your right fingers with the left hand. Press that palm forward. Relax the shoulder back into its socket. 
and grab the left fingers again using that pressure to push that shoulder back into place and gently release place your hands out in front of you inhale in in plank exhale all the way down to your mat take the left hand out to the left side untuck the toes Lined up with that left shoulder, press down with that whole left palm, so much so that the left elbow comes up off the earth. And then bend the right knee, send the right heel up and over. Find that opening through the shoulder, still keeping that shoulder active. See if you can even find that gentle twist through the spine. Same deep breath. And gently coming back through center. Reach the right hand out to the right side, lined up with the right shoulder, left hand underneath. Bend the left knee, send the left heel up and over. Keep that right hand so active that you can even put a little bend in that right elbow. Try to lift that right elbow up off the earth. Keep the right shoulder active as it opens. Same deep breath. Notice where your focus is. Are you still finding those long inhales and long exhales? And gently coming back through center. Bring your hands back towards your ribs. Tuck your toes. Inhale, center of the back high. Engage your core. Come up for plank. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale that right heel up. Sink your heart towards your toes. Be sure that right hip doesn't stack at all on top of the left. Flex the right toes. Try to get your heart toward the left toes. And then right knee towards your nose. Place the right knee down. Place the left heel down. Gently find your way up, warrior two. Opening our hips for the first time, so really pull the feet in toward each other. Tuck the hips toward the long side of your mat. Notice if that right knee is coming in toward the left side. Try to open it back out. Keep the core engaged, tucking the pelvis under so there's no arch in the low back. Relax the shoulders. Reach the fingertips out and away. And then right elbow, right thigh, left arm up and over. Same deep breaths. Any variation that you would like. In your extended side angle, find your breath. Still trying to reach that right knee out, tuck that right hip under. However you would like to open that hip, find your breath. And then inhale all the way back, peaceful warrior. Straighten that right leg. Reach with the right fingers. Keep that right hip tuck, left hip reaching back and down. Trikonasana. Keep pulling back on that right hip. Back on that right heel. Keep that right hamstring active. If you look down at the earth and you can see your mat, bring your head back over your shin. Maybe you need to come up just a little bit on that shin to keep that alignment. Find that same breath. And then you can turn your gaze back up to those left fingertips if you would like. Keeping the legs straight, inhale coming up through center. Turn the right toes in, turn the left toes out. Bend down into that left knee, warrior two. Keep pulling the feet in toward each other. Be sure the back foot is lined up with the short side of the mat. The hips are lined up with the long side of the mat. Pulling the hips under, engaging the core, left elbow, left thigh. 
keep pulling that left hip under, right hip, back toward the opposite side of the mat, opening that left knee, maybe reaching the left fingers down, whatever you would like to find in your extended side angle. Deep breaths. On your next inhale, head all the way back, peaceful warrior. Straighten the left leg. Reach with the left fingers. Tuck that left hip under. Pull the feet in toward each other. And down. Triangle pose. Same deep breaths. Find that same alignment. Notice if your head is right over your shin. Try to pull it back. If you look down and you see your mat, move so you can see your shin. Long inhales, long exhales, keep the feet pulling in toward each other. Keeping the legs straight, inhale coming up through center. Turn the left toes in, turn the right toes out, exhale all the way down to that lunge, send that right foot back, inhale the left heel all the way up. Few deep breaths, sink your heart toward the right toes, keep that the left toes flexed, pointing down at the earth. And then inhale forward to plank. Place that left foot down. Exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale through and up. Your back bend of choice. Exhale back. Downward facing dog. Inhale that right heel up. Bring it all the way through. Place the back knee down and tuck the toes. Walk the right toes to the left side of the mat. Flex those right toes. Right knee down toward the right side of your mat. Chest high out over that shin. If this is too much, you can bring that left knee up to the sole of the right foot. And find your way out. You can make little fists with your hands if you would like to release the forehand. To release the weight the torso, so you can find those same deep breaths, really start to find that release through the hip, release all the way down through the low back, and I'll leave you for just a little while. So I encourage you to really focus on the depth of your breath, the joy of a conscious inhale, of a releasing exhale. And yes, there's all these sensations and discomfort happening in that hip. But instead of focusing on the prodding of pain. Focus on the joy of a conscious breath. Let that be your focus. Slowly come up to your hands. Tuck those left toes all the way back. 
gently send that right foot back and up, release that hip. Place that foot down next to the left, inhale the left heel up, and then bring it all the way through. Place the back knee down, walk the right toes over. Find your way down. Pull that right knee up to the sole of that left foot if you need to. Fists, if you would like to really release the weight of the head. Keep those left toes flexed, pushing the left pinky toe down. And then start to let your body release and relax. Let gravity do all the work. We can decide how far we want to push ourselves. If we don't push ourselves enough, then we will tend to find injury through tightness, through the pain of our muscles and joints being stuck and pulling against each other too much. And then if we push ourselves too much, we find injury through overdoing, overstretching, ripping and tearing. So somewhere in between is that balance. So explore that balance now. Notice where your focus is. Can you still focus on the joy of the breath while pushing gently a little deeper into that hip? Our body will teach us lessons one way or another. So you can choose how to learn those lessons, either through the joy of breath, or through the pain of an injured body, or the pain of a stiff body. So see if through your breath you can find that balance. Slowly come up to your hands, tuck those right toes all the way back, gently send that left foot back and up, release that hip, place that left foot down, one final downward facing dog, and then inhale forward to plank, and exhale down to your back. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees fall out to the side. Right hand to your heart, left hand to your diaphragm. Take a few deep breaths in Sukta Baddha Konasana. Feel the heart rate slowing down with the right hand. Breathe into that left hand. And stay right here, working on, working on that release through the low back and through the hips. Or gently bring 
your knees up into your chest, place your hands down if you would like to invert, send your toes up over your head, and come into plow. Trying to work on your toes down toward the earth, and bringing your elbows closer toward each other, hands high up on your back. Let your toes drift up toward the ceiling. If you're coming up for a shoulder stand, be sure all of the weight is in your shoulders and elbows and not in your neck. Gently finding your way back through plow. All the way down, and then everyone pull your knees up into your chest, rock from side to side, releasing that low back. Place your heels down, hip distance apart, push the heels down, lift the hips up, come into bridge, interlace the fingers if you would like, or bring the hands underneath your hips if you would like to come into a nice supported bridge. Same deep breaths. Coming up to the balls of the feet, gently release down one vertebra at a time. Bring the right knee up into your chest. Straighten the left leg out onto the earth. Pull that right knee over the body with the left hand. Release that right arm out into a nice, easy final spinal twist. Feeling nice and long through the spine, feeling that space in between each vertebra before the twist. Notice the thoughts. Notice your focus. Are you still with those long inhales and long exhales? And gently coming through center, straighten that right leg out. Pull that left knee in, pull the left knee over the body with the right hand. Same deep breaths, same focus, allowing the joy of conscious breath. And slowly coming back through center. Straighten that left leg out to meet the right. Let the toes fall away from each other. Tuck one shoulder blade and then the other. Reach the crown of the head high. Relax your jaw and tongue. Begin to release the weight of your whole physical body down into the earth. And then feel all of the places in the nervous system that are awake and firing, warm and tingling. Especially those places that seem a little uncomfortable, a little unfamiliar. to the places in the nervous system that we've activated that needed a little extra attention, needed to be opened up again. So send a little deeper breath there. And then start to release the feelings through the body, 
Release all those tingling sensations down into the earth underneath you. Bring your focus completely into your breath. With every inhale, inhaling in that joy and pleasure of the air, of oxygen, of healing in space. And with every exhale, releasing down into the earth underneath you more and more. Releasing and relaxing, feeling all of those sensations in the nervous system getting heavier and heavier with every exhale. With every inhale, pulling in more weightlessness, more joy and pleasure and all the things that you perceive as being positive. With every exhale, letting go of all of those things that feel so heavy. Any stresses or worries. Letting them all seep out of you with each exhale. And focusing on the joy of the simple conscious breath. Allowing space, allowing healing, allowing integration, all of this work. Allowing yourself this time just to be.
slowly find your way back. Notice your breath, notice how you're breathing. Listening to that breath, decide if you would like to stay right here on your mat. Melting down, relaxing into that deep, long breath. Or start to activate the body however feels natural. And again, deciding to stay right here on the floor, slowly with your eyes closed, you can find your way back to a comfortable seated position, deciding how you would like to round out your journey, your practice. Listening to your breath, inviting in the joy of your breath. Notice if your nervous system is a little calmer. If your breath is coming a little easier. If your thoughts are just a little further apart. And it's just a little easier to focus on the joy of a simple inhale the conscious exhale. Inhale, reach the arms out and up, bring the palms together, exhale them down in between the eyes. May your life be filled with enlightened thoughts. Inhale, exhale the hands in front of the mouth. May you always have the patience for enlightened speech. Inhale, exhale the hands in front of the heart. May your heart have the healing it requires to live an enlightened life. Namaste. Take your time. There is absolutely no rush. I just want to thank you all so much for allowing me to guide you. It is always such an honor. As most of you know, these are all donation-based classes. If you make it with us here in person, there's a donation station on your way out. And for those of you at home, there's a donation button on your screen. We ask that you honor the suggested $15 donation if you're able, or leave whatever you can, so that we can continue to bring the service to our community and to the world. I hope that you will take some of this wonderful work that you've done with you into your day, your week, your month, your life. And it is truly a brilliant one.